If you are feeling like you are in an emotional minefield, it's best not to seek out the minds and kick them out of your path. Instead, you need to navigate gently and thoughtfully through the path until you feel more stable. This is Bonnie Vent. I'm so happy to announce these channeling sessions with The Connection are now sponsored by paid subscriptions. A big, huge thank you to those who've already subscribed so this work can continue. If you'd like to become a subscriber, please go to my website, www.bonnievent.com for more information. Your assistance with this work is greatly appreciated. Please comment, like, and share these videos with like-minded friends and family. Private readings are also available from my website. As always, use your own powers of discernment. Accept what resonates with you and disregard the rest. And now, here's the connection. Welcome, dear ones. We continue on the topic of chaos. Do you all see and feel it now? Please be thoughtful in your interactions. You need to learn to choose by using your own guidance. This does require some deep thought at times. Perhaps the best example we can provide is one of energy flow. When you are driving, you need to decide whether to press the gas or the brake. What is the proper gear for your path, which includes neutral and reverse? These decisions may seem semi-automatic when driving, but the choices do cause different results. There are also energy frequencies involved here too. Pay close attention what level or gear you are choosing. This is not a time to blindly follow the crowd or engage in emotions that are not yours. You do not want to be caught up in emotional situations as it causes poor decision making and perhaps damage control as you think differently after responding. If you are feeling like you are in an emotional minefield, it's best not to seek out the minds and kick them out of your path. Instead, you need to navigate gently and thoughtfully through the path until you feel more stable. There is an erratic energy all around you. It is your challenge to diffuse this energy in your space, not blow it up. You can only work on yourself, dear ones. Do not even attempt to bring this up to another person. Let them see the example in you and please let that be good enough for you. You are not responsible for the actions of another, just the way you choose to respond, which also includes no response at all. It always comes back to balance and achieving this balance is more challenging in the current energy. Remember to use your internal pause button and take time to think things through. How do you want to ultimately feel about a certain set of emotional circumstances? Think of the outcome before reacting, not after. Most people want to be happy and content, but not everyone. You need to create distance if the interaction is not in alignment with your goals and purpose. Remember to use your reverse gear. Backing up and gaining perspective will serve you well. We hope this message makes the path a little easier to discern. Until we meet again. Thank you for joining us today. If you'd like more information or to support this work, please see the links in the description of this video and join us at bonnievent.com.